Surprise, surprise, and welcome back. On today's episode, we're gonna mix it up a little bit, and we're gonna go back somewhere that I found pretty exciting. That's gonna be Snowshoe in West Virginia. They've got a lift. They also have a, a road gap called the Cupcake. I was too scared to do last time, but I'm gonna do it this time. And there's some other big thing. It's like a huge step down, like a 20, like a 25 foot step down double roll get road gap, so two wise, handsome rush. This invited me to go to Snowshoe. How's it going? We're in route. I think we've got 419, I'm arriving at 1013. Stay tuned for some weekend shenanigans at the bike park. Snowshoe Bike Park has a lot to offer every part of the family. Keith from St. Matthew Cycling in Louisville, Kentucky was my guide for the weekend. And the first place he took me was the fire tower. It's about a 30 minute pedal, but then it spits us onto this amazing, barely used enduro trail. Really excited about this trail in particular. It's just crazy how this moss grows in here. It's like bright green, dark green. Just a uh, nice switch up, switch up colors. I'm really digging this new uh, has the guy front tire too. It grips so much. Like I'm trying to think it's gonna slide, but it's just steadily grabbing everything anywhere. It actually does wind you back around. You have to go a long way around the lake. But you, uh, you still get back to the left. Oh yeah, this tire looks nice. Slow tech isn't my favorite, but the more I practice it, the better I get at it, and overall, the better I'll be on race day. <laughs> Definitely a sketchy rock garden there. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at This is actually <laughs> almost did it. <laughs> That's always super sketchy. <laughs> no, they're on the landing. Oh yeah. There's like five or six people sitting there. I saw someone like that, like not in person, but in video. Where they, uh, We're about to find out. Like they like landed That's not a medic. Huh? That's not a medic. This is a guy who's coming. Maybe. No, it's, yeah. it's a bike patrol. Is it? Yeah. If we just got to jump off, what did they do? Did they like grab the That's my bad. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Looks like somebody has maybe eaten it. Came up way short. Um, so I don't recommend anybody do these tr these jumps. I don't recommend anybody come out and do what I do. As far as hit something blind and don't look at it, totally a bad idea. But I don't want anybody to be getting hurt on this jump. Look how big it is. Look how many people are in between this thing. This is a big jump. What? Oh my god. We got so much odd out here. <laughs> what what happened? I want a bike out. I know, I know. That guy's not going to kill so I'm super stoked, none of us got hurt. We're getting more runs in. I don't ever want to see anybody get hurt or hauled off. After a short interview with the rider, his advice was, don't touch the brakes. Oh, yeah. oh man, we'll be right down there, I'm getting my bike. It's so exciting when I see people in public and they're just stoked to see me. One of the beautiful things about Snowshoe is all the great views. And as soon as you're done, you can head right back to the top of the runs and go ahead and hit big features like the cupcake drop that I still haven't done. Look at that. So when you wonder how big the cupcake gap is, that's what it looks like. 
Yeah. Oh, the cup kicker? Yeah. We're just gonna go and go for it? Uh, I haven't hit it yet. I haven't hit it yet. We're all gonna go for it? I mean, I've been waiting to do it, so. It's just like you're up here and you dropped it down here, right? <laughs> you do it right now? Uh, I'll just do it right now. Follow, follow Matthew. All right, I'm just about to walk in, doing a road gap for the first time. Uh, first trail, had one warm up trail. The cupcake gap is a roll off feature. No more than trail speed is needed to make this feature happen. But oh, it had my blood pumping right before I went. Matt? What's up? Awesome, bro. So now we're just rolling in, hitting the damn cupcake drop every time now. <laughs> I don't even think there's another way we can hit the trail from the way we're riding. It's pretty chill. I'm not even using any effort. I'm actually braking, slowing the bike down. I'm gonna come off the edge, fingers off the brakes, let it land, grab the bike. I do not have my fingers on the brakes when I land. I'm actually brake free at that point. Cupcake drop check mark. Oh shit. Oh, that's jump. That was nice though. <laughs> Again. I got another spot in the video where I'm hitting that super flat. Oh, oh too high. I never miss a chance for a good view. Ooh, that's a steep one. Oh. Ooh. That little bumpy there. Oh, definitely chunked over that one. I just have no idea, this is all riding blind for me. Ooh, I hate the mud. I hate the mud big time. The mud makes you crash. Nobody's coming behind me, so I guess I went on the wrong trail. I wanted to go to jump line, I'm on a tech trail. Pro DH, I'm sure this is gonna be. Oh, sweet jump. Blind, I guess I do enjoy riding blind. Oh. The line up there. Oh, tripod stabbing me in the leg. Just look at all this. Ooh. Lincoln log. Okay, so this is some sketchy shit. They told me not to go down. Uh, but, oh my God, look at all the rocks. I don't know if you guys can see these loose rocks, but they're like definitely the size of like a cantaloupe. So this is probably like a four foot drop in front of me. Just gonna hope for the best. <laughs> People on the lift are laughing at me talking to myself. <laughs> I do do a lot of talking to myself while I ride. No doubt about it. Hype up, hype down. Oh. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next adventure. The capper does jump pretty good. It jumps better than a downhill bike, which I guess it's not a downhill bike. Everyone says it jumps like shit, but I guess it's uh, compared to other trail bikes or something, other enduro bikes. I haven't really ridden any other enduro bikes. Uh, my buddy Nate ain't got no problem on his. After a long day of riding, we headed back to the hotel, grab a few drinks, and head to the hot tub for one last great view of Snowshoe before we head home. And don't forget, pedal a little harder and don't touch the brakes.